In the new version of AutoCAD, various changes have been made to improve the speed of VRM and part lookups. This makes the lookups much quicker and more efficient, particularly on large product groups or where a reg has a lot of history. There are also some new features. It's now possible to export data from the latest section data screen. The first button at the bottom exports the entire contents of the grid, but you can also select an option at the top, click report, and then export just the data for that supplier. In the new version, the way that the history system works has also been enhanced. Previously, this would show every user's history, but it's now possible to restrict it to just show your own. This is done by using a set of toggle boxes at the top of the screen to select all history or just your own history. It's also now possible to copy the VIN from the lookup. This is done by simply right clicking the field. The text will now be copied to the Windows clipboard so it can be pasted into other applications. The way that FPS brand is shown in the supplier selection menu has also changed. Whereas in the past this would show a single entry, it now shows individual ones for each brand. This increases speed as only the required brand is looked up. The new type column which shows in the auto part product details grid can be used to tell where a part has been invoiced or credited to the reg that has been entered in the past. There are also a couple of changes intended to make AutoCAD easier to use on smaller screens. The first of these is in the parts screen, where the checkbox used to select two parts has been moved from the right side to the left hand side of the screen. The second change is that there is a parameter setting which will move the product information column to the left hand side rather than right hand side of the grid, as it is often cut off in that position. This is done by first going into the parameter maintenance screen, and then checking the box for display product information after part number. Notice how the column has now moved to the left hand side of the grid and is much more visible. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Please visit www.mamsoft.co.uk for future updates.